Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Today I'm going to show you how to install a hitch on your Jeep Wrangler. This happens to be a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S. And we have that fancy third row seating right back here. Go check those videos out, it's really cool. The kids really enjoy it. So, without further ado, let's roll that intro and put this hitch in. All right, so under the Jeep, the first thing that we have to do is to make this job easier, that hanger, right, I'm trying to point to it, right there, holds the exhaust up. Now there's that one there, and then there's one right over there. So we're gonna take the exhaust out of that, so that drops it down, and that will give us just a little more room to work right here. Right there. All right, so after a little bit of work, we got those free. So now the muffler back here in the exhaust right there. Cohen can we, show you. We is, got this. We got this it's done free. so it can be free to wiggle. Yep, and it gives us more room to, to work up hitch, here. So we can put a hook Hold on, up Bubba. Here. Hang on. Let me tell him. So under here, you may already have some factory bolts kind of like we do right there and right there um if you do you need to take those out but they go to this plate so the hitch has to go in between the frame and that plate and that plate needs to stay in place so that's what we're going to do now is finish taking these out and then put up the hitch all right so we're under the jeep looking up at the frame there's a hole that's another that's one there and that's one there but this plate right here we have to put the this right in between that so we need to push this out and then push this up there so that's what i'm going to attempt to do so you guys get the best view in the house Watch out, Bubba. Are you trying to dance on them? No. All right, so using a rubber mallet, I was able to get get this pried in there with the pry bar first. And now you can see that this first bolt here is finger tight. That's going to do for now. And then what I ended up doing to get that second one in is using the rubber mallet. Once I got this, this one in right here, I was able to use a rubber mallet to hit this other side and get it level. And now we can start screwing this one in as well. So that'll be going in right over there on that nut. And then we'll put two more, one here and then one over here. And this will be installed and all we have to do is put the muffler back on. There we go. Hitch is installed. And all we had to do is put 
two, like I said, two of those bolts, a bolt, a washer, and then a nut over on this side. And torque all four of those puppies down. It says to go to 110, but I was not able to get them there. So I'm going to just, uh, I got them up to 80, up to about 80. And they feel like they're going to break, so I don't want to... I don't want to keep going that should hold we're not going to be hauling anything like super heavy with this so what i'm going to do is we're going to actually put a little travel pack on here test that out for right now that's all it's going to haul eventually it may pull that trailer back there and when we do i'll double check these bolts under here as well but that's going to be the install for the hitch i will be having a wiring install for trailer wiring um it, actually i have it in that box right there but i'm going to be doing that on another day so don't forget to click that red subscribe button and smash that thumbs up if you found this video helpful useful this one happens to sit just even with the bumper and I thought that this was the one that stuck out even further with the tire, but apparently it, it was not. Which is okay. That's okay. That should still work for what we need. So, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. A blessed week. And... Don't forget, if you get those from E-Trailer like we did, you'll get a Willie. Willie the Duck. Willie is officially in Kansas, boys. Yee. God bless y'all.